take off for an inspection done the easy way. Buzzing around a Perthshire field, this tiny helicopter's doing an awkward job, getting within a few feet of high voltage pylons. And left, left, left. Okay. Down on the ground, in control and safe, are its pilot and inspector. I think teamwork is the absolute essence of the operation. You have to be talking all the time. So although I'm operating the cameras and doing the inspection work, I have to work very closely with, with uh, Bruce in this particular aspect. And this is the view they get. In recent years, the use of unmanned aircraft has soared as they prove themselves in jobs which are dangerous, dirty and dull. Well, this remote-controlled aircraft only weighs a couple of kilograms. That's about the same as a large seagull. But with its eight rotors, it's very manoeuvrable. We can lift it up and down. We can move it left and right. And with a camera on board, it truly becomes an eye in the sky. The Scottish firm Cyberhawk operates this system and they're expanding their operations offshore. With more inspections like this, a gas flare high above the North Sea. The attractions of an unmanned system are obvious in such an extreme location. In an oil refinery, for example, we might inspect a flare stack. Now we can inspect that flare stack while it's actually live, so there are flames coming out of the top of it. This means that the people in the refinery don't have to shut their production down. This can save millions of pounds per day in terms of lost production. Until now, the militaries led the way in the use of unmanned aircraft, with drones like the Reaper keeping air crews out of harm's way. But civilians are catching up as they search for cut-price aerial footage. For now, strict rules apply to where these aircraft can be used for reasons of safety and privacy. But in years ahead, those rules may change as we see what they can do. David Henderson, Reporting Scotland, Perthshire.